What's up guys, welcome to your 23rd After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over 3D, your intro to 3D. So go ahead and create a new composition. You can either uh, put an image on there, or you can go ahead and put a video file. It's not going to matter for this tutorial. I'm working with a video file. And the first thing I want you to do is go ahead to your first layer. Again, it doesn't matter what it is. And check out the position and scale properties. Now, again, the position is the position along the x-axis and the y-axis. And the scale is, of course, the height and width of the image. Now, again, what I want you to take note of more importantly than that is that there's only two attributes on either one of these. But with 3D, you need a third attribute. So go ahead and make sure you have that uh, this little thing, Q, popped up. And if you don't have it popped up, press F4, and it'll pop up and right under the cube but go ahead and click that checkbox and what that checkbox is going to do is add a third attribute to any images or any of your properties that you can be working with 3d such as position and scale and go ahead and change that third attribute right now by scrubbing the value now again like I said the first one is the x-axis which goes left and right the second one is the y-axis which goes up and down and the third one is called the z-axis and the z-axis goes um goes i don't know how to describe it towards me and outwards so again that's up and down left and right and inners and outwards so if you move the position along the z-axis it either gets farther away or closer to you but no even though the size is changing the scale isn't changing at all and this is because it's not actually changing it's just changing the position for example, it's just moving farther away and closer to us. And this is the same thing with scale. Um, you can either scale it along the x-axis or y, or in this case it's all locked, so it doesn't matter. So another thing that you can do if this is kind of hard to understand um, still, is right here, this is your camera angle on what you're viewing your composition. Now, if you want to view it from the front, that's what we we're doing by default. If you want to view your composition from the top, go ahead and press top. And as you can see, you can't see anything. And this is because uh, just regular pictures, they aren't 3D. So what we need to do is view it from an angle. And custom view 3 is a good angle. And here's where you can see. Now if you go ahead and change position, uh, you get a better view of what the z-axis is. Again, we would be sitting somewhere right here and the z-axis would bring it closer to us or further away from us and if it bring it closer to us it would make it appear bigger further away from us would make it appear smaller again with scale it would increase the whole thing and this would also make it appear bigger or decreasing it would also make it appear smaller so another thing that i want to talk to you guys about um, aside from what are they position and scale is also rotation so let's go ahead and change the active camera or you can change it to the front it doesn't matter and aside from X and Y rotation you also have a Z rotation now what X rotation is is when you scrub this value it's gonna change it so it rotates over the X axis and by rotating over the X axis which is left and right it flips up and down by rotating over the Z axis it goes left and right and by rotating over the z-axis it just spins around because that axis is pointing towards us so that is how you can manipulate 2d images to work in 3d and again you can um uh... what's it called animate these just like you would any other so let's go ahead and do that right now let's first change the position so it's pretty far out and let's go ahead and make a keyframe right there Next, let's go ahead and actually let's zoom in. We only want this animation about three seconds long. So we'll put it right about there and we'll make another position. Actually, just change that to zero. And now you see, um, instead of just animating in 2D, it's actually growing towards us. And we can combine this with other uh, keyframes as well, such as rotation. So say we wanted to animate um, X rotation just go over there and then here we can add another one say have it spin five times or something so now once we play our animation it's not only going to be getting closer to us but it's also going to be flipping over the y-axis 
such as that and it's and it's uh, spinning a little bit over the y-axis because I was playing around with it right here but now if we go ahead and look at our animation you can see we now have turned our 2d image into a 3d effect and this is a cool effect uh, that you can use and it's a neat little um, enhancement in After Effects so uh, for this tutorial those are the real basics of 3d and again let me show you this at a different angle uh, if we play it from this angle we can see it just uh, that might be a little more clear to you uh, maybe not but oh well but for now I just wanted to give you guys the basics of working with 3d in After Effects and key notes to point out here if you ever are working and you can't see your image that probably means that your camera angle is looking directly at it at an angle and remember um, 2d images have no depth so that's why you might not be able to see it but for now this tutorial is getting kinda long so thank you guys for watching uh, in my next tutorial I'll clear things up and uh, teach you guys some other cool 3d tricks but for now don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial what's up guys welcome to your uh, 24th After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna be going over some things that are gonna help you a ton when working with uh, 3d and After Effects so go ahead and make a new composition or drag something into the composition panel doesn't really matter and go ahead and resize it so it's only a portion of your background and this is gonna help you uh, see what we're about to do another thing you want to do is go ahead and turn on your 3d since uh, that's what we're going to be working with. Now the first thing I want to talk to you guys is about anchor points and that's this little point right here with all the arrows sticking out of it. Now another uh, kind of name for anchor point is the pivot point. So if you see if we change the X rotation and Z rotation this might be a little more clear then we see that everything is kind of pivoting around this one point but sometimes we want to make it where we don't pivot around the center of every graphic so in order to change this anchor point what we need to do is go ahead and uh, select this little thing or you can press Y for a shortcut and this is your pan behind tool and this is pretty much the same thing as your anchor tool uh, they just gave it a new name now when you have this selected you can move this entire anchor point and what this does is give you a new um, pivot point so now if you go ahead and move this X rotation or Z rotation this will be uh, very clear you see that instead of pivoting around the middle it pivots around that one pivot point and again you can move that around so you can um, pivot around the bottom right instead of the top left and this is how you pivot around different points and again that's called the anchor point now the next thing I want to talk to you guys about now that you got your pivot set wherever you want to go ahead and uh, select your selection tool again uh, I want to talk to you guys about how to change um, kind of the view so and I'm not talking about the show either I'm talking about the perception of your composition so go ahead and go up to here and these are your camera tools track X Y and track Z these are two ones I'm going to be talking to you guys about today now go ahead and track X Y camera tool and go ahead and start playing around with this and as you see it gives the perception that your composition is moving around but if you go down here to position, when I'm moving this around, position isn't changing. So if you're like, alright, what's going on? Well, what's happening is not actually the scale or position is changing, but your perception of where you are, your eyes, according to the thing, is changing, or the camera. So again, if uh, this might be a lot easier if you see from Z. If you grab the Z... Uh, it lets you zoom in because remember the z-axis is toward me and away from me this allows you to zoom in your composition but not actually alter your composition it pretty much just give you a different position or a different perception I mean um, and just gives you different angles that you can look at your composition but not alter your composition if that makes sense so this um, these two camera tools are only if you want to view your composition in a different way again this is just view so none of these properties change only our perception of how we're looking at it so just play around with that for a little bit and trust me if you do it for like 30 seconds you'll know exactly what I'm talking about 
Um, another thing that's going to give you some uh, different 3D views is the shortcuts F10, F11, and F12. Now, I can't press them because my camera or uh, my screen recorder is going to mess up. But if you do, uh, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, um, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is sometimes when you're working with 3D, it's going to be kind of complicated um, when you're only seeing one view at a time. So what After Effects did is give you a way to view multiple views on the same um, workspace. And this is uh, how they make like uh, different 3D programs. This is what they usually do. So After Effects incorporated this as well. And to do that, to get multiple views um, all at the same time, what you need to do is go down to here and go ahead and select one of these views. Probably the most common is this four views. And this gives you four views at once. So go ahead and select your uh, selection tool or something. And as you see, when we move one of them, they all change. So these aren't four different compositions, so don't think that. This is just four different views. And this way, um, this might be a little more clear when you're using uh, the cameras and stuff like that. But as you can see, when you change one, um, let me grab my camera. When you change one of them, then the rest change with it. And I just saw one point out that well again like I said these aren't four different compositions it's just four different views and this will help you a lot especially when you have pretty uh, complex 3D um, compositions and graphics and stuff like that so this will give you just uh, a bunch of different perspectives on how to work with your composition so again don't forget the anchor points how to change your anchor point or pivot point um, don't forget that you can change the camera angle that give you a better outlook or perception of what you want to view without actually changing the composition itself and again if you want to work with multiple views or go back to your main view here are your options down here to give it a more traditional 3d program kind of feel so that's that for this tutorial um, not a very exciting tutorial but these simple tools and tips will help you a lot when you're working with 3d and I'm gonna be uh, going over these later and I don't want you guys to get lost so that's why I had to tell you so thank you guys for watching. Um, in the next tutorial, I promise I'll do something a little more exciting. But for this one, just thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial. What's going on, people? Welcome to your 25th After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over something called motion paths. And a motion path is a path that allows motion wouldn't have guessed that would you so let's go ahead and enough of the small talk let's go ahead and get started uh, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and instead of this one view go ahead and create two views um, horizontal and go ahead and just resize your box so you can see them all you can use your uh, uh, little roller ball or I don't even know what it's called between your mouse buttons and hopefully you're not using a Mac and if you don't uh, have that little roller ball then I don't know what to do and another thing, excuse me if I go kind of slow today, I just ordered a bunch of little uh, stickers for my keyboard that tell you what every shortcut is on After Effects. So my keyboard's like 800 different colors right now and it's kind of hard to see, but anyways, enough uh, goofing around, let's get started with this tutorial. Um, The first thing we need is a layer, so I uh, actually feel like making a text layer, so go layer, new, text and I just feel like you know making one today because I haven't in a while and I'm gonna name it B for Bucky and I'm gonna size it up a bit so now we have this layer that's just chilling here named B and of course we want to work with 3D so let's go ahead and click our little 3D checkbox and I like to set this view to active camera and I like to set this view either to left or right so let's go ahead and put it um actually let's go ahead and put it to the right feel more comfortable I'm right handed does it have anything to do with it mm, I'll let you be the judge but let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna be working with position really someone's calling me right now hold on a second I'll pause this alright guys that was just one of my friends calling me at midnight wanting to steal my badge for work but anyways that is irrelevant what we're here to talk about today is animating 
position. So let's go ahead and click this little checkbox right here. And let's go ahead and move this one all the way back uh, like this. And the next thing we want to do is move ahead to like two seconds or something. And then we want to move this up a little bit and towards us. Uh, right there looks nice. And as you can see from this right angle, uh, you can see, well, the right view. And from the active angle, you can see the front view of it. So let's go ahead and move this to four, and we hopefully give this a little roller coaster effect right here. And then we'll end it at six or something like that, like this. And this brings me to another point. Anytime you want to um, edit your, I think they're called bezier handles or something, I call them curving sandals, just go ahead and those are these little dots right here. And if you can't see them, go ahead and click the anchor point. And what this is going to allow you to do is adjust the curviness of your image so make sure you got that selected got to grab it ah oh, there we go got it so once you edit those uh, you're able to edit the curviness um uh, I think I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> uh, oh, thank you and oh I thought you said bless you uh, the curviness of your image so let's go ahead and see our final animation up uh, and down and up again I shouldn't have made that took so long so again that is how you edit um, a basic 3d animation again with two views is the best um, if you want to work with four views um, it may be even easier even though these are all the same views right here maybe you get one from the left and this one from the top or something like that but um again maybe that's not easier maybe that's just more confusing but another thing that I want to point out after I change my views back um, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is something called auto orienting excuse me so let's go ahead and select this layer and put layer um, transform audio auto orient and click OK and as you can tell what this does is allows your animation to orient along the path and I accidentally added another keyframe right there but that's irrelevant and you can really tell what's going on in this um, one right here what it's doing is your letter or layer is orienting along the path now there are a couple errors about this um, but you can fix them easy if you could tell that your B is flipped around um, it looks like a D now but anyways uh, I just wanted to show you guys that this option is out there and in some cases you want it to orient along the path and just instead of just straight staying straight up and down the whole time so um, that's up, up there and if you can't figure out how to fix that simple error then well you shouldn't be using after effects by now so um, that's that for this tutorial I'm kind of rambling on so in the next tutorial I'm gonna be showing you well, I don't even know what I'm going to be showing you, but I guarantee it's awesome. And yes, that's a guarantee. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I am going to the store to buy some food. So, I will see you next tutorial.